Oh my Jesus, we're on to episode 2 of Far Cry 5. That's right, we are back. And we are still stuck on this one part. And, uh, I just, like, stopped here exactly where we left off. Oh, what's up? Oh. Can I? Oh. Oh, you just have to move up. Alright. Go, go, get the... Ah! Let me use my med kit real quick. All right, here we go. We're good so far. All the way, dude. I got to use med kit. Oh, I got him. Yo, that's my goal on hard difficulty. Thing is, it's not like Uncharted where I'm I'm used to it and I've been playing all the games and all, so this is a brand new game, so it's gonna be different. But anyways. You got it! Oh shit! Nice. I think I gotta reload. You okay? Nice work back there. I'm fine, bud. Uh, yeah, now my health is pretty good, so I think I'm good. We don't know who we can trust. Oh, <laughs> Fucking Nancy. Fucking Nancy. Oh, no. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, I'm going to use a med kit now. You got it. Dude, lean in. Dude, sometimes your guy doesn't lean in.
fuck, that was hard. Fuck! Oh, shit! Jesus, that was hard. We did it, guys. It's on our second try in this video. It's nice. Oh, shit. All right, buddy, we got this. I think his name is Marshall, so. Whew. God damn. There we go. I think this is our stop, guys. <laughs> I don't know how long this game is, uh, for, like, lengthwise. I, I heard, like, I read online it takes, like, around 20 hours. So, I don't know. I may, like I say, do all just main missions or side missions as well. We'll find out. Kind of feels like Far Cry 3 now. Okay. I hope it's not. That shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years, waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Okay, hang on. Change clothes. The world is a. Uh, Oh, I am the bouncing boy. Oh, well, I hope it's not gonna be like uh, Far Cry 3, like kind of the same thing. Because it kind of feels like it. Please make some choices before we proceed on customizing your character. Oh. Alright, I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of tannish. Oh, I like that hair. It's kind of cool. That's kind of different from uh, Far Cry 3 and all. Hope your guy gets to talk. I do. That is 
The mullet? You got the mullet! You can look like a douche! <laughs> That's funny. I'm... I guess I'm gonna go with this one, because... It's kind of how my hair is going for now, Des. Alright, huh. Uh, I'll go with that. Yep. <laughs> USA! USA! I am not going to do that. USA. Uh, I like that. That looks cool. I like the camo. I'd say I'll go with blue. I'll change it up a bit. What do we... Nah. Let's show my, uh... Yeah. That is awesome. Oh. I could be Dean Ambrose. Yeah, that looks awesome. I like it. I right, confirm. Alright. Talk to Dutch. We shall. I just wanna... Look around. What's this? Interact. Oh, it just starts repeating. Dude, we gotta fucking help. Okay, October 13, 2014. Uh, Hope County, uh, Con Cold Slaughter. Dear Mr. Wealthavelt, I'd like to interview you about your recent altercation with government officials over your right to collect rainwater. My understanding is you had applied for a permit. But it was overturned, leading to your nights in jail and ongoing court case. I'd like to confirm your official statements to the court that water is a God-given right, and the government stealing our resources out of, out from under us. It's up to us to defend our uh, individual rights and liberties. Also, did you really tell the judge? Yeah, you bet your lily right ass. I'm in compt. Of you, I'm in contempt of you. Uh, please let me know if you'll go on record. Jeb Boyd, Boyd, Hope County Chronicles. I'm um, I don't know if I'm gonna be um, getting all these collectibles, but if they're there, might as well. Dad, uh, April uh. 27, 2015, that's from letter from Dutch, or to Dutch, yeah. Dad, I got your message. Good to hear the drop in the charges. We'll try to come out for parts of the summer. Ricky wants to show you how he's riding without training wheels, but Annie's got a lot of work at the college. I know how much it means to you, so we'll try. We'll try, only please lay off the homeschooling talk, okay? It's not right for me or Annie. Uh, or Anne. And the school in uh, South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks in, in out. Talk soon, Robbie. Okay. Alright. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. Okay, I guess I gotta go. Well, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright. Uh, oh, can I get... Oh, I need a key. Dumb bitch. I'll find that key. Okay, I'll go in there in a second. Oh, it's like a... Where are we? Oh. I'll take the shovel. <laughs> yeah, I'll take anything at this point. Oh, okay. Oh, is there a way I can, like... Oh, okay. Local fights to use water... Richard Dutch Roosevelt served two nights in jail for contempt 
of Curry after contesting his rights to collect rainwater in what the state has defined as was was a very Mr. Roosevelt has operated this rainwater collection without a proper permit in flagrant violation of Montana laws, said the Water Resources Depar uh, Department Deputy Director Edwin Garcia. Uh, Mr. Roosevelt is contesting the charges. Garcia. Huh. Shots and I, I swore that weren't thunder earlier, but, but a couple of explosions. Boomers all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more than Peggy's bullshit? How much are we gonna stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can and take care of yourself. What'd be cool is if uh, this had like a thing with Far Cry, like all the other ones. I think that'd be kind of cool. The fuck? Oh, great. Oh, Jacob Seed, the soldier. That he was the, um, the father. Oh, no, maybe not. Oldest brother of the seeds in charge of training the military up in the White Tail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is sacrifice the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another at the drop of a hat has been linked uh, to the creation of the monster wolves. Up north, the cult calls judges. Huh. Oh, I guess this is just kind of getting to know the people. John Steed, the Baptist. Youngest of the Seed brothers, and maybe the most sadist, in charge of recruiting for the cult. Marketing, cleansing, confession, atonement. Those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate, if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of... Yes! Wait, Daniel Bryan? Yes! And he just came back. He got the clue to wrestle. The power of yes as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Great A psychopath. Anyone hearing me? This is Dutch. Faith. The Siren. 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 I hope I said that right. Don't know how she's related. Seems like she just showed up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She's poison she'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Everyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become uh become of one of those brain dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. Anybody? And Joseph C., the father, leader of the project at Eden's Gate. He believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of himself as a modern-day Noah. Thinks God speaks to him. Told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he started the weeping, his followers are willing to die for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when his prophecy comes true. The guy is an absolute nut job. Hello? Okay, so now we got a better understanding of him. So we're going to talk to... Uh, we need to huh. talk. What's up? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want him back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Okay, weapon wheel. Mm. 
fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. Alright, so I kind of uh, figured that out when I was playing around with the controls a bit. So, anyway, so. The one, oh. Maybe we should see them guys, eh? My treat? If we get the those likes in, guys. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to stop it here, guys. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, I would say I'm liking this game so far. It's, um, it's different from the other Far Cry's, but it's similar at the same time. I I don't know what to say about it. I I like it, but it's different too. It's same but different. It reminds me a lot of Far Cry 3, but not with the island. But that's the best Far Cry game. That's what got me into the Far Cry series. I didn't care for the first two. I never even played the first one yet. I played the second one and I was like, eh, I didn't like this one. But the third one, man, I got all the achievements too. It was fantastic. So. Uh, anyways, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe for more. And remember, Father is watching.